brand new. He's acting like they running, they really ran. I literally ran. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Destiny Ayane. Did y'all miss me? Cause I missed y'all. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the Sunday reset. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Baby, I don't know why you're treating me so bad. You said you love me, don't wanna find me, and I was all you had. And all my heart is eating for you, and I can't stop I don't know how I allow you to treat me this way, and still I stay. See, my days are cold without you. Sing 
enough It was about five minutes ago When I seen the hottest chick that a youngie never seen before I say yo, tell the girls I wanna meet up On second time that ain't the way to go I gotta do a game proper Spit it so she get it, there she is, I gotta stop her Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a style? I'm out of time, she's out the door, I gotta go for a ride Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a style? I'm out of time, she's out the door, I gotta go for a ride Stop, stop. Come to the top of the car. Don't know about the lot. You don't know what I decide. Can't leave without it. Can't leave without it. Have you been stay for the wall? Chase out deposit. Chase out deposit. Money just stick with the boy. A lot of model bitches check for me. Nigga don't check for me unless you got checks for me. I kept a stick like a hobo, no checking me. Way back when you low had to spot and trust with you. So many hoes had to get up, I said to me. She left her body home and brought her net to me. I did a walk, do that shit to jet to me. Y'all niggas show price less than my job. One of my arms were particular. Why so much that a car came with me? Back in the day, I used to walk with no mask on. Shit on my wrist, I would've kept the whole house full. Then I went to school high, I ain't go to class though. I was with the OGs, learning about the glass door. Got me with a dude's five, mama keep my ass, bro. Break yourself, you can break on the dance floor. I'm with Sid and Lil Baby. Yeah. We got four choppers this fool. Right before rapping on God, I was trapping. She get my Glock and look cool. I got my cake from Osama, been lighting. Lil Dookie, he signed this shit. I'm for a gang if you use from my chain. And a nigga gon' die in this bitch. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Waggy. Y'all nigga doing that big cap I ain't with the finish shit. Close to thing, y'all get to a hash shit. And the beat clap too. Yo, mama gon' have to make a go for me. Y'all niggas keep doing that sneak jab. Baby. Gucci had to kill the whole world. Just to make young savage this motherfucking beat jack. To the top of the car, you don't know about the lot. You don't know what I say. Can't be without it. Can't be without it. Stick for the wall. Chills out the positive. Don't let you stick with the boys. Catch up and catch up. Catch up and catch up. I am not looking for clout. I know I will figure it out. Secure, don't ask why they thrown in there. I literally ran. It's raining. Listen, y'all can hear I'm gonna meet y'all at home. <laughs> I should have been with, but I had to take my shower, baby. I don't just go nowhere. I had to take my shower. This man asked me what did I have on. At first, I thought he was talking about my clothes because what? But he was talking about my perfume. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. 
It's that, oh my God. What do you have on? It's no good. Thank you, love. Thank you so much. All right, let's go home because it's freaking gonna start thundering and I don't want to be a part of that. All right, y'all, I'm back home. I'm about to make some chicken tacos. We got the chicken. Please don't mind the music in the back. Please don't mind the music in the back. I got chicken. I got Kobe Jack cheese, two packs of this. I got some tortillas, even though I'm pretty sure we had some, just in case we didn't, because I'm not going back to no store, okay? Nada. Let's get to cooking because I really don't have all night. I need to go to bed because I have work tomorrow. But how y'all liking the hair? It's old now. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Anyways, about to make these tacos. Let's go ahead and get to it. I'm only recording this because somebody wanted me to record it for them. You know who you are. I'm about to go ahead and do this. Let me stop rambling. Let me wash my hands. Take off this hoodie. Let's cook. some parsley and not too much some red crushed red peppers get it all over that chicken and I might add a little more because that's not looking like enough this is what your chicken should look like after you season it I already washed my hands so I ain't gonna keep touching this chicken on the cutting board Get it as flat as possible. Alright, go easy. So just take you either a clear piece of paper or a wax paper. Just take the thing and beat it flat. So the skillet, I'm going to add some butter. And we're going to add about that much butter. Because we don't want our chicken to burn or cook too quickly so teensy tiny bit of oil and you want to make sure this is a non-stick skillet and take your fork and just swirl that around let that get hot and let it do its thing all right once the butter is melted and that oil is heated up and it's doing that. Take your chicken and put it in there. And I'm gonna do two at a time. And make sure that chicken is seasoned on both sides. Yeah, we're gonna do two at a time. And we're gonna let that cook. And the reason that you beat it is so it cooks faster. See that bad boy? You can go ahead and flip it. This is how my chicken is looking now. You wanna flip it, make sure it's fork tender. Let that cook on both sides. And look at that. Look at the sear on that, okay? I'm trying to tell y'all, this is what we want. Cook that chicken all the way. You have to shred it, so don't be afraid to get you a knife and cut it up if you need to. Okay. 
Before I take mine out, I always like to take a knife in it. And you see how that's not ready? Because it can be ready on the outside, but it gotta be done on the inside. So don't be afraid to pimp that chicken up and let it cook all the way. All the way. Next, go ahead and shred that chicken while it's hot. Once it's cooked all the way, you want to shred it while it's hot. That's going to make it the easiest. So shred that chicken. Wow. As soon as you take it out, go ahead and shred it. You get the gist. We're going to light that stove up to medium heat once again now that the chicken is done we're gonna throw some butter in there let that melt just a teensy tiny bit of oil in there now normally i go ahead and keep i don't clean out my pot but if the chicken starts to cook fairly quickly then i go ahead and clean out my pot because you still have your flavor in that chicken and here we are with the chicken right now. I'm not cutting no onions, so I'm gonna take some onions out of this. Okay. I'm gonna throw some onions in there. I'm gonna put a little more. I'm gonna let them go for a little bit, a little more. Normally I would chop up some onions and throw them in there, but hey. We gotta do what we gotta do. It's still onions. Gotta have some onions and then some garlic. Put that in there just a little bit. Cook that just a little bit. Put some garlic and I'm gonna let that cook down. Okay, after this, I'm gonna add my chicken back in there. Add all that chicken back up in there with the onions. Give it a good mix. Now, if you have chicken broth, that would be the best. Now, I don't have any chicken broth, so what I'm going to do is take um, one chicken bouillon cube. One or two, depending on how much chicken you have. Put that in there and throw in some water. And let this simmer. And add as much water as you need. But that chicken cube needs to be deep up in there. Doing this thing, making sure you're getting a, a broth. And you want that chicken to be nice and fully coated. And you want this to make a broth. Now notice my chicken isn't fully shredded. I just did like a light shred. Now you see how that water is turning into a broth. That's what you want. And put as much water as you need. I don't add that much, just enough to cover. I'm going to let this cook down and then we'll move on. Right now we're bringing it to a boil and letting it simmer. Not bringing, we're bringing it to a boil right now and if you feel like you need to add more seasoning, I added just a tad bit more uh, slap your mama and I'm gonna add just a little bit more of this garlic and onion I'm not adding any salt because we don't want it to be salty so we just want that chicken to be marinated really well after this we're gonna go ahead and turn it down 
and I'm gonna add um, a tad bit of Kobe Jack cheese. I'm gonna add some cheese to this, okay? We wanna make this very cheesy. Okay. And we turned it down. We're adding our cheese to it and mixing it up like so. So it looks like this. And add more cheese if you need to. I'm going to add some more to it. I know you're seeing this though, so good. Mix that around, make it real nice and cheesy, all right? You get the gist. All right, so now we got the chicken done. It's looking good, it's looking creamy. And this is what you want. This is the consistency you want. You want that chicken to be, you want that chicken to be nice and tender and just like that okay <clears throat> need some butter we're using some of the mission fajita grande tortillas all right so what we're gonna do is take the tortilla dip it in that sauce you get me toast it on there just for a little bit toast it on there i'm only showing y'all how to make one and then we'll go to the end. Mm -hmm. Now, you wanna let that do its thing. Take some of the cheese, like a little handful of it. Pick that up. Place that cheese kinda like that. Flip it on the other side. Okay. Then you want to take some more cheese. Right. Put that on there. Okay. After that, you take your chicken. And you put it on there. Like so. Now don't put too much. You don't want it to fall apart. Like that might be too much, but we'll see. Once you do that, I don't want my hand to block it, y'all. Your cheese is cooking fast, so go ahead and flip that taco like so. Now you need a nonstick pot to do this, or your cheese gonna burn up. So. Definitely need a nice big pot. Okay, but that's what we want to go for, and we're gonna continue this process and do our tacos like so. This is how the tacos came out. This is the final result. Yeah, chicken tacos, okay?